This message asks us to consider the downstream as well as off-site costs and benefits of land water management interventions. While the Nile Basin Development Challenge had several focused key sites across the basin in Jeldu, Diga, and Fogara, we also considered how interventions at these sites may produce benefits or disbenefits to users in the greater Abe Basin, from Lake Tana all the way down to the border with Sudan. Doing this required coordination among several organizations with many different disciplinary backgrounds. When we talk about off-site or downstream benefits and disbenefits, we're referring to examples such as these sites where heavy erosion causes a reduction in water quality downstream. For example, we can see this evidence in places such as the Blue Nile Falls, where during the rainy season the falls are dominated by sediment loading. By putting in place interventions to reduce erosion, farmers of course benefit on-site by preserving topsoil, but also those downstream benefit. In Sudan, dredging activities are needed with some frequency to prevent siltation of their reservoirs. This is an important consideration as well to preserve the life of the Grand Renaissance Dam that's currently underway in Ethiopia. From an economic perspective, when there are issues such as erosion and siltation of dams, then we see the balance is tipped such that the cost to keep, say, dam siltation under control may outweigh the benefits received by the dam. In other words, these site-level interventions have far-reaching economic benefits as well downstream for users that may be hundreds of kilometers away.